Hello viewers, in this video you will see how to use OLED display. This type of OLED display comes in various colors like white, blue, yellow and with different resolutions like 128 by 64, 128 by 32 and they comes with either I2C interface or SPI interface. The module we are using here is a blue colored 128 by 64 OLED with I2C interface. In some modules you can change the I2C address of the module. For example, in this module you can change the address using the solder pads given on the back side of the display. We will use Arduino UNO to interface with this display. Connect VCC of the OLED display to 5 volt of the Arduino board. Connect SCL to SCL. Connect SDA to SDA. And then ground to ground of the Arduino board. Then connect Arduino board to computer. Now the connection part is completed. Next in the Arduino IDE we have to install libraries so that we can use the OLED display easily. We have to install two libraries. First Adafruit SSD 1306 library and the second one is Adafruit GFX library. For that go to tools, manage libraries, then search for Adafruit SSD 1306 library and Adafruit GFX library and install them. After that we need the I2C address of the OLED display. For that upload the I2C scanner sketch and get the address from the serial monitor. Link of the I2C scanner sketch is given in the video description. Address of this display is 0x3c. Now to check the display is working or not, upload an example sketch. Go to File, Examples, Adafruit SSD 1306, then open the correct sketch according to the display resolution and communication type of the OLED display. After that, you have to replace the I2C address written in the setup section of the code with the address of your OLED display. In my case, it is 0x3c. Then select the correct board and upload the sketch. If you have done all things correctly, then you will see the animation made by Adafruit. Now let's see how to show some text in the OLED display. First you have to include wire.h for I2C communication. Then include Adafruit GFX and Adafruit SSD 1306 library. After that define the screen width and height of the OLED display. In my case it is 128 by 64. Next create an object of Adafruit SSD 1306 class, let's say display, followed by screen width and screen height. In the setup section write display.begin then in brackets write ssd 1306 underscore switch cap vcc comma write the i squared c address of the OLED display. In my case it is 0x3c. Now you can start writing code to show text. For that you just need to know about some functions like display.clear display function which will make all pixels off but the change doesn't reflect on the display until the function display.display .display is called. The function display.setCursor will set the cursor to coordinate x, y to start writing. 
the function display dot set text size will set the font size of the text. You can choose size from one to eight. Next, the function display dot set text color will set the color of the text. But as this library is for monochrome display, so the passed value should be the default SSD one three zero six underscore white. But my display color is blue, so it will show blue color only. Next function is display dot print. This function will print the characters at cursor location. Using these functions, you can display text in the OLED screen. Let's take an example by printing "Hello World" at coordinate zero zero. For that, first write display dot clear display function. Then set the text size using display dot set text size function. Then set the text color using display dot set text color function. Next, set the cursor at zero zero using display dot set cursor function. Then use display dot print function to print hello world. After that, let's print the value returned by Millie's function at coordinate forty forty. Then write display dot display function to update the OLED screen. Now let's upload the code and check the results. In this way, you can print desired text and values in the OLED display. Now let's see how to display images on OLED screen. First, resize the image you want to show using an image editor like Paint so that it fits the OLED display. Then save it as monochrome bitmap. After that, use an image to C array converter to convert image into C array. Here we will use LCD image converter. Link of the software is given in the video description. Run the software and start with a new image. After that, go to Image, Import, then select the monochrome bitmap image you have created. Now go to Conversion. Then in the Prepare tab, select the following settings. Then in the Image tab, select the following settings. And then click OK. Next, go to File and Convert. It will create a new file with .c extension. Open that file using text editor and copy the array. Now paste it in your code. Then write P R O G M E M before the array name. And then in the loop section, write display dot draw bitmap under bracket. Write the coordinate where the image should be printed, comma the name of the image array, comma write the width and height of the image array in pixels, comma one. Then upload your code. In this way, you can show images in the OLED display. If you have any doubts, questions, suggestions, or need any help, then please ask in the comment section. If you found this video helpful, then please like, share, and subscribe this channel. Thanks for watching.